Hello students, in this video lesson, we will learn what is object oriented programming. Before saying object oriented programming, let us learn what is computer program. Computer program is a set of instructions to complete a specific task. For an example, just let us have adding two numbers and take the output from the computer. For this, first computer needs a first number. So, we will ask the computer to take the input for the first number and then store it in a variable. Again, we have to ask computer to take a second number and store it in a another variable. Then, we will ask the computer to add these two numbers which are in the variables and then put the answer in the another variable. And then at last we will ask the computer to display whatever is there in the third variable. So, here we get the answer. So, to do this task we need a number of instructions to be given to the computer. So, this is what a set of instructions given to the computer to complete a specific task. Program can be written in any computer programming language. There are so many computer programming languages. For example, we can say C, C++, uh, Java, Python, Cobol, Fortran and so many. Let us see how computer understands this language. Computer can understand only zeros and ones. Instruction written in this form is called binary or machine language. So, computer directly does not understand whatever we write in the high level languages. It should be converted into zeros and ones. So, it is very difficult task to write the code in zeros and ones. Computer languages were introduced which are closed to human language for this purpose. These languages are called high level languages. Programs written in high level languages get converted into machine language using translators. So, now we should know what are translators. Translation of a codes. Programs written in high level languages are translated using compiler or interpreter to machine language. So, what is this compiler? Compiler converts the code written in high level language into machine code in one go. That is at once it will convert all the codes into machine language that is zeros and ones. But the interpreter is there. The interpreter converts statement by statement. That is the difference between compiler and interpreter. So, any language will have one of these. Codes written in high level languages are called source code. So, whatever we write, a programmer writes, those codes are called source code. The translated code which the computer can understand are called object code. The person who creates a programming code is called programmer that everybody knows very well. There are two types of languages that is categorized into two low level language and high level language. Let us see what is low level language. Machine language. So, that already we have seen. Machine directly understands the code written in this language. Machine language can be written using only zeros and ones. Assembly level languages uses symbolic codes which is more understandable than machine language. Assembly level language is used for device drivers. High level language. When we speak about programmer, we probably think about the people who write program in high level languages only. No knowledge of hardware is needed to create as it is machine independent. Source code written in any high level language must be compiled or interpreted into machine code in order to run. So, that we already discussed. As every language has general set of rules or grammar. For example, English is a language. So, there is a grammar for that, some set of rules given. Same like that, 
any language you take there will be some rules to be followed that computer also has a set of rules or structure this is called as syntax example for computer language basic c++ c java python perl all these so now we know what is computer language but when we write a program there will be different type of approaches high level languages gives easy approach to programmer to create a program to any task there are many approaches in the programming we will discuss about only two that is procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming what is this procedure oriented programming the procedure oriented programming approach allows the programmer to apply the logic using number of functions many instructions are written to carry out the task these instructions group to form functions functions take more importance than data items data items are applied globally which is to be used in all the functions to make any changes in the functions may need to reschedule the associated data values this affects the normal sequencing of the programming logic object oriented programming the object oriented programming increased the programmer's productivity and overcome shortcomings of traditional approach of programming object oriented programming does not allow data to flow freely from one function to another so that means it will be more secured one problem is decomposed into a number of entities called objects each object includes a set of data items and related functions data values are applicable within the functions associated with that object let us see the difference between procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming procedural programming language functions are more important than data but here in object oriented programming stress put on data data can flow freely throughout the program in procedural programming but here in object oriented programming data is restricted to be in the specific area wherever it is needed so it will be more secured as i told before here the top down approach happens but in object oriented programming bottom up approach in procedural programming language there is no access specifiers available so we will come to know about this access specifier in upcoming classes object oriented programming has access specifier so that means which will tell whether you have access to that particular part of a program or not so there are some keywords for this but in procedural programming it is not there so procedural programming becomes very less secure object oriented programming is more secured overloading is not possible in procedural programming language uh, here object oriented programming overloading is possible you will also come to know what is overloading in upcoming classes examples for procedural programming uh, c visual basic fortran and all for object oriented programming c++ java python and etc students i would like to tell you one thing when you learn any language in the beginning you have to follow the set of rules whatever is been told later you will come to know the definition for those things when you come to know the definition for those things it will be very easy to understand so in the beginning just follow the instructions given to you so after learning the language once again come back to the beginning and start revising so that now you will understand everything so clear
students keep watching my video we will meet in the next video lesson where i will be describing you about basic concepts of object oriented programming thank you students